is back in Arizona right now, retracing its steps before its next trip to the moon. Astronauts are practicing moonwalks outside of Flagstaff with an entire support team across the country. And this isn't the first time Arizona has stood in for the moon. That's right, Team Tools. Michael Doudna talked with NASA and a historian about the past, present, and future. Fire! Every giant leap begins with a small step. Our goal is to simulate one of the early Artemis missions to the moon. Kelsey Young leads the Jet 3 mission. It's a series of nighttime simulated moonwalks complete with an artificial sun. It's anything to replicate future conditions except here on Earth. We have a full science team. We have the full EVA flight control team, including the flight directors and the Capcoms and the EVA officers. And to prepare for the future, NASA is following the footsteps of the past, walking through northern Arizona. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Americans have been in space for a total of 15 minutes when he first made this declaration. So. There's a lot to do. Kevin Schindler is a historian who works for the Lowell Observatory and says that rocks brought space to Arizona. And so every astronaut who went to the moon did geology training in, in northern Arizona. See, Arizona's array of craters and geological formations reflected what astronauts might find on the moon. And then, fire! The moon came here. Using pictures of the Sea of Tranquility, scientists and engineers worked to recreate the surface of the moon. This is Grover, a simulated lunar roving vehicle. A test track to make it to the moon. You know, half a century after those first pioneers walked on the moon, we're now getting ready for the next people to go back, and they're training in some of the same places. And with plans to return to our moon again, astronauts are back at the SP crater north of Flagstaff, practicing for the next giant leap. Yeah, these simulated moonwalks are one of two different missions going on in northern Arizona this month. In fact, once these walks wrap up, then they'll start testing a space RV. We're in Flagstaff, Michael Doudna, 12 News.